A Loxahatchee family is dealing with a personal tragedy after Hurricane Irma. Two of their loved ones died from carbon monoxide exposure after the generator was running. Deep into Loxahatchee, off the beaten path, down a long winding driveway sits a two-story home surrounded by farmland. Chester Kataki is out of the hospital now, but he's a man in pain. How are you dealing with all this? Well, as best as I can. As Hurricane Irma approached South Florida, Kataki's wife, son, and brother planned to ride out the storm here. My brother was just up to spend the uh, hurricane with us rather than spend it alone at his house in Miami. Irma knocked out power to millions of homes and businesses. Like many people, the Katakis kept their generator busy. We had it running pretty much since the hurricane passed. But on Thursday night, the carbon monoxide fumes apparently seeped into the home. Kataki's son called 911 after he found his relatives lethargic or unresponsive. Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputies and paramedics arrived, noticed the garage door had been left open a few inches and the generator pointed toward it. They found Elaine Kataki dead inside a bedroom and the three men in other parts of the home. Her husband doesn't remember much. Well, I was pretty uh, semi-conscious. What mm -hmm. what's, what's the first thing you remember afterwards? Just them hauling me downstairs from upstairs and taking me to the hospital. Chester's brother, Johnny Kataki, died at the hospital a few days later from carbon monoxide poisoning. The family's three dogs and two cats were not injured. Chester Kataki says if you own a generator, make sure the fumes are not getting into your home. Just be aware of carbon monoxide. It's undetectable, you know, pretty much so. Kataki says right now he's making funeral arrangements, planning to bury his wife and brother. In Loxahatchee, Ted White, WPBF 25 News.